Welcome to the 11th battle of my first ever Let's Play featuring Sweden in Empire Total War. In this small battle, I am fighting a force of Russians that's straight too close to Ingria. With Russia ju having just declared war on me, uh, my force in Ingria is still not a very big one. However, the one he sent nearby is not very big either. So, he has a cannon advantage in this battle, actually. I have no cannons and he has one battery. However, I have more line infantry than him. He has better cavalry than me. Uh, I think this will be a very interesting match. Very interesting. Now, uh, let's see how we deal with Russians. It'll, uh, my tactics for this battle will be very straightforward. Since I do not have any cannons or anything, I will just attack head on with my line of line infantry because mine are better than his. He has a hill right here, which I, which I assume he's going to try and protect. Uh, at least that's what I would do. Unless he tries to go over here. Well, that would be ideal for me if he starts right here. That would be ideal. If not, I have to attack uphill. Because this hill all the way around, you see. Down on this side and down on this side. It's like a... It's the top of a hill. Hilltop, I guess it's called. <laughs> so, let's see how this goes, shall we? And yes, he started uh, quite close, actually. That's good. That's good for me. Actually, that's not... He spread his units out quite weirdly. Well, not weirdly, but not in line with my own troops. So I'm going to have to redo my whole formation here. Which I'm doing right now. That's fine. Right there. What does he have on his... well, on his left, I guess. That's a cannon battery and a regiment of horse, which means I have the horse advantage on the right. And I should keep it... well, on my left, his right. General is in trouble, is in trouble because he can just snipe, snipe him with his cannon battery. And I don't want that. Come on, Swedes, show me what you got. Does that look like it's a slow motion? Yeah, it does, but it's not. Hmm. Okay, well. I'm taking cannon fire, but I'm not going to rush this. It's only one cannon, or one battery. And until he starts firing canister shots, I'm not in that much of a danger anyway. And he's shifting his own line. This place is cannon battery is quite stupidly though, as you can see shooting straight into the ground. So, I don't, I don't know if this is... Uh, well, it doesn't seem like the computer usually does this, but uh, yes, artillery is very, very sensitive when it comes to small hills in front of it. And that's as it should be. And I think this is the only... You're shooting the wrong targets, though. I mean, if I were... If I were him, I would shoot my cavalry over here. Oh, there we go. I think, uh, well, he didn't mention he didn't kill anyone, but he bounced the cannonball over their heads. Give him a bit of a fright. I want to try to catch him off guard, however, as you can see, my line, since I had to turn it a few degrees, uh, they're arriving at their positions at different times, so I'm not going to rush it until they're all in position. He has still not started firing canister shots, which I don't think he can until I'm about here. Like, he's just moving his lines back and forth, and it's just... It would be so good for me if I get into range while he's doing that. So I'm going to try to do that. Run, my children, run. Now, my fear is that he's going to attack my provincial cavalry with his own cavalry. Oh, and he's trying to kill my general. That's what he's doing. Which is the whole wise choice, to be honest. That's what I would do as well. Yes, and there we go. The battle lines have opened fire. And this battle line is going to kill his artillery. I do not believe he has bayonets. The last time I fought Russia, he did not have bayonets. Oh, he does now, though. Okay. 
Because if not, I would have just charged him. Right, what was... Well, my general is going to get caught in a crossfire there. Not technically a crossfire, but still. And I'm taking out his cannons. Uh, this um, attack serves two reasons, like the attack on his cannons. First of all, I'll make one unit rout, which will create panic among the rest of his troops. Secondly, it'll get his cannons out of the picture, and if he can use cannister shots on those, they can be quite devastating. So, and now, I'm going to do some damage with my cavalry. And as you can see, my line of duty is eating his up. Mine are much better at shooting. My only worry is what he's going to do with that regiment of horse right there, because if, the, if that regiment of horse attacks my provincial cavalry, they will win, because they are much better. Okay, is this? Oh, this guy. I don't need the guys on the far, right, on the far left to shoot. So move, my boys, move. Now, this unit has been sufficiently... Um, Reduced, so I'm going to charge it with my cavalry and see what kind of uh, damage I can do. A quick charge and then the retreat will do well with cavalry units. I caught him off guard, didn't it? And they are wavering and they are broken. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you win battles in Total War. Now, he's doing what I thought he would. He's sending his cavalry to take out my cavalry, which he should have been doing a long time ago. So I'm going to send my own cavalry behind my blue lines and he'll hopefully take some bullets to the face. And my infantry has to get a lot closer. Now he's, of course, reforming and trying to do what he can do make sure he doesn't lose. He's trying to keep his little defensive formation up. However, I do have a unit on the far right which is just shooting straight into him and he's, he's pretty much a goner by now. I don't think there's much he can do to win this. Now, I do not want to charge uphill here. And you can see he's preparing his uh, line infantry. Get ready. These guys, yeah, there we go, they're all fine right now. So, he has one unit of light infantry all the way over here. That is, in my opinion, a mistake. And I don't know what he's doing with this cavalry unit, he's just standing there getting shot. Not very wise, if you ask me. There we go, a charge. I know he has bayonets, however, he was on the move, he, he didn't brace, he's on the move. So, I assume that is going to break him. No, he didn't. Just barely didn't. So I have to withdraw. Oh, there we go, oh, okay, it just took a while. I believe I have won this battle, to be quite honest with you. Yes, there we go. It is one. It is one for the glory of Sweden. Once again, the Russians prove that they cannot stand up to the might of the Swedish Empire. Not alone. And even though they are not al alone anymore, they have Poland Lithuania. Poland Lithuania is busy being a bastard to Prussia. Which is buying me time to do all the stuff I have to on the campaign map. Now, once again, they have done a great job in the later games, uh, as in Shogun 2, to increase um, or improve the way that you chase units down. Because, as you can see right here, it's kind of a nightmare trying to get them to actually kill off everyone in the group. But they fixed that. It's good now. I'm 
by nightmare. I, I don't mean that they don't do it, because as you can see, you know, they're chasing around killing people. However, the algorithm for who they who they actually follow in the group is quite skewed. As you can see, there's a huge group of uh, people right here. However, only a few of them go after them. Go off. Alright, I'm not going to make you uh, look, sit here and watch me chase down my enemies, so um, thank you for watching this battle, the 11th battle of my first ever Let's Play Fishing Sweden in Empire Total War, and I will see you back on the campaign map.